then, when trusting in the Lord with all your heart, leaning not to your own understanding, in all your ways acknowledging Him and letting Him direct your path, you find that you don't always feel like or hear from God every single day. You may not always know exactly the way you should go. You may not always completely understand what it is that God is doing. You may not grasp exactly where it is He wants you to go even. Sometimes it's a matter of trusting and just going. Sometimes it's beyond your feeling capability. I know for myself, I have this kind of general, oof, you know, time of year that, like a biorhythm kind of, you go through cycles that your body goes through, so does the seasons of the year. We have summer, spring, fall, and winter. Well, your body does similar things. It's not humanistic, it's just it's natural, <laughs> it's normal. <laughs> it's not some weirdo kind of, ooh, that's so good, bizarro. But it is scriptural. And in that way, we don't trust our physical feelings to rule trusting in the Lord. We allow for them to be there, but our spirit, rather, is revived and has to run to the place of trusting in Jesus with all of our heart. And we don't try to figure it out too much. We don't lean in our own understanding, but we acknowledge Him every day by doing devotionals, by reading our Bible, by walking in His ways, and by doing as He is said to do. So sometimes when you don't feel quite 100%, just do what Jesus would normally have done with you anyways, and just go forward with Him, trusting that He knows the way, that He's best able to handle you the way you are, than you are able to handle yourself. For me, in my life, Streams in the Desert is like that. It's always been the comfort that has brought me the realization that when I'm tired or when I'm weary, then God is always there, giving me some word in streams to be assured that my God is always there for me. And maybe your God will speak to you today as you walk with Him in Streams in the Desert to hear what He would say. Said I not unto thee, if thou wouldst believe, thou shouldst see the glory of God? John 11:40. Mary and Martha could not understand what their Lord was doing. Both of them said to him, Lord, if you had been here, my brother would not have died. In the back of it all, we seem to read their thought. Lord, we do not understand why you have stayed away so long. We do not understand how you could let death come to the man you love. We do not understand how you could let sorrow and suffering ravage our lives when your presence might have stayed at all. Why did you not come? It is too late now, for he already has been dead four days. And to it all, Jesus had but one great truth. You may not understand, but I tell you, if you believe, you will see. Abraham could not understand why God should ask the sacrifice of the boy, but he trusted. And he saw the glory of God in his restoration to his love. Moses could not understand why God should keep him 40 years in the wilderness, but he trusted. And he saw when God called him to lead forth Israel from bondage. Joseph could not understand the cruelty of his brethren, the false witness of a perficious, perfidious woman, and the long years of unjust imprisonment, but he trusted, and he saw at the last the glory of God in it all. Jacob could not understand the strange providence which permitted the same Joseph to be torn from his father's love, but he saw the glory of God when he looked into the face of the same Joseph as the victory of a great king and preserver of his own life and lives of a great nation. And so perhaps the same is true in your life. You say, I do not understand why God let my dear one be taken. I do not understand why affliction has been permitted to smite me. I do not understand the devious paths by which the Lord is leading me. 
I do not understand why plans and purposes that seem good in my eyes should be baffled. I do not understand why blessings I see so much need are so long delayed. I do not understand. Friend, you do not have to understand all God's ways with you. God does not expect you to understand them. You do not expect your child to understand you, but only believe. Someday you will see the glory of God in the things in which you do not understand. Because in trusting in the Lord with all our heart, when we lean on to our own understanding, that means there are times you will not understand. So let Proverbs 3, 5, and 6 guide your life in every circumstance and remind yourself what it says to trust in the Lord with all your heart, to lean not into thine own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him. He will direct your path. When those four things are done properly, your assurance is always there that not only is God with you, but that God cares. So maybe, if you're like me today, you don't feel gaga goo -goo or yabba dabba dooey. But you feel kind of screwy, you know? You feel kind of, you know? But you feel like, wow, maybe if I just trust the Lord with all my heart, He'll see me through. Because there is a time, there is a place, there is an assurance that you can always turn to. And that is in Jesus. Today, Look to Jesus. I think you'll find that in Him, you'll find complete reassurance that everything will be all right.